Hey there guys, how's it going? And welcome to my first ever episode of Ark Survival Evolved on the PS4. We're actually gonna be playing on the PS4 Pro. We actually get a uh, frame rate boost and I believe a resolution boost, I'm not sure about that. But either way, definitely a frame rate boost. Looks a little bit better on the PS4 Pro, so that's what I'm gonna be showing you guys today. Unfortunately, it only seems to have the increased performance when you play online servers or a dedicated server, but it is what it is. We're gonna be playing on an official PvE server here. Now, I'm not sure whether I'm gonna be making this a full Let's Play on this exact server but either way this is episode one of the ps4 stuff and today's video i'm going to be giving you guys loads of tips for how to rank up quickly and just generally how to survive in the beginning phrases i think these are quite fun to watch even if you're experienced and if you're brand new to the game i'm also going to be over things in a lot of detail all of the stuff that some of people might not mention why they're doing what they're doing i'm going to go through all of it so it's going to be like a detailed kind of guide walkthrough or playthrough of the beginning stages of someone who's got quite a lot of time in arc and uh, can give you guys some really good advice now if you're not into the whole playthrough or walkthrough style of videos the long videos then i am going to be doing a 25 tips for arc survival of old video in the next few days which is specifically targeted at new players so if you like your information concise and quick and just quick fire tips that video is going to be linked on screen and in the description when it's ready it'll be out in a couple of days max also i've got a copy of this to give away on playstation 4 so i'm going to be giving away on this video the standard style guys all you need to do to enter make sure you're subscribed obviously make sure you enable notifications so you get updated of my new content also give the video a like and leave a comment down below and with your comment i'd like you to take this opportunity to let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see from me are you a new player who wants basic tips and basic survival are you someone who wants to learn more about pvp do you want to see the center do you want to see scorched earth do you just want to see everything either way let me know down below with a comment also, a quick note, if you are playing this game, I think later on, on the 6th of December or within those first few days, you're going to be getting double XP. So you're going to be able to level twice as quick as I can if you actually play this game on the first few launch days. They seem to be doing double XP weekends as well. So bear in mind, I'm going to be leveling as quick as I can. But if you guys are doing this either at the weekend or on the first couple of days of launch, you're going to be able to get double the amount of experience that I'm going to show you how to get here, even though I'm going to be getting quite a lot of experience very early on. So first things first, let's make our character. I'm actually playing a PvE server, so I don't have to worry about body type. When you play PvP, you generally want a small, hard-hit character. PvE, it's not as important. You can mess around a little more. So I'll make my character, then we'll decide a spawn region. So here I've made my character. I don't know why I like having this kind of character, quite a long body, chunky legs, chunky arms. I just think it looks kind of fun, but obviously you can make your guy as messed up or as handsome or ugly as you like. Name my character Jay, and obviously we're playing here on the island. Now I'm going to spawn in the southeast of the map. So if you want to be in the southeast of the map, you either want east zone three or you want south zone three. So I think I'm going to go for south zone three just to start, and I'm going to try and get to a specific area so let's create new survivor see how close to it i can get now you might be wondering why i'm trying to get to this specific area on the map that i'm going to highlight on screen oh we we're right there actually i think this would be awesome luck if we are so i'm trying to get across from what is known as herbivore island and but as we finish shaking our head around there and there it is there's herbivore island ah no actually we want to get across there so while we do this Actually, let me turn off the uh, settings there. Obviously, you've got some options here. You might want to turn up gamma, turn off motion blur. I'm actually going to turn off the, um, the chat box as well. Status notifications, don't need that. And the chat box, actually, we'll keep the status things on. I think that's for when it lets you know it's warm or cold. I haven't really ever messed with that. So early, early stages. You probably want to spawn here in the south. Um, you can spawn in the north, but I'm going to give you guys a very specific way of leveling in this area. So we're just going to have to hope that we run into no dinos, no carnivores that are going to kill us. And the reason I'm running down here is I actually want to across, gotta, uh, go across there even. Uh, and if I go through here, it is quite deep. I run the risk of a, a manta or a, possibly a megalodon getting in my way it actually looks quite clear but we're not going to risk it we're not going to risk it 
So in Ark Survival Evolved, you want to always be remembering ABC. Now that stands for always be crafting when it comes to leveling up. Now you do get levels for not only crafting, you get levels passively, very, very slowly, uh, but you get levels for crafting stuff, collecting stuff and killing stuff. So it's nearly the three C's. Unfortunately, killing starts with a, with a K, otherwise that'd be a very nice little um, saying that I could go with. And we are nearly there. So I've picked up some stones. I mean, that gave me like barely any XP. You see, I've got two XP right now. Now, you might be wondering, Jay, why is it so important to level up quickly? Why would I even want to level up quickly? Well, the quicker you level up, the quicker you're going to have access to some of the better items in the game, which is just going to make survival easier. Also, especially if you're playing on a PvP server, you really want to tech up as quick as you can so you can have access to all the weapons and things you might need to use against other players. So it's just a very useful thing to do. And the quicker you get to the levels where you can start to make a decent base and so on, then the quicker you can actually start to really enjoy the game for it is and get past these very awkward uh, early stages now in the beginning one thing that um you will probably want to do is craft yourself the basic tool the pick which is the most basic thing oh, as a raptor right here okay this is trouble honestly i probably won't survive this as a low level so we're gonna have to let him kill us when you're completely unarmed and brand new fresh raptors and dillos are your worst enemy and i'm gonna have to let this kill me so let's spawn in again don't be too down high if that happens. If you come across a raptor, it is way, way above your ability to be able to kill it. The only real way of you getting rid of a raptor when you're completely unarmed... Ah, oh, am I actually in the same spot? I basically am, but I'm a little further along, am I? Hmm, I think... I'm not sure. I'm a bit worried about running into that raptor. I think it might have been over here. So here you can see a dillo. That I can avoid. Look at it. Look at this nice frame rate. It looks really good on PS4 Pro. Now that I can avoid, because I can actually out-sprint a dillo. And by our sprint here, I not only mean I'm faster than it, but as you'll see here, if I don't get killed by the raptor that's a little bit further up, if I keep sprinting, I eventually get far enough away that its aggro range is like untriggered. I can't think of the word, the right word, what it would be, but I'm going to say untriggered. Now, there is another dealer there that I'm going to need to sprint from. And you can see there, it's quite far away now that I've sprinted away. Now, this one, I might be able to avoid aggro it, aggroing it by going over here. Now, each different dino has a different aggro range. Uh, so let's... I've got full stamina now, so now I'm going to sprint. Okay, here is really where I'm looking to be, first of all. I might go a little further up. I want to get get away from that deal, ideally. Now, this is an explorer note, or is it... It might be uh, one of the dino dossiers. I'm not sure. Either way, that is something that is going to give me double XP. Oh, and here's a player right here. Luckily, this is PvE, and uh, hopefully he won't smash into me. Although, saying that, if that Dillo comes along, I might let him eat him instead. So, what I'm going to do now is gather all the basics. We're going to unlock the very basic stuff. So, let's hit a tree. We need to get ourselves everything needed for a pick, which is a stone, some thatch, and some wood. I think it's ten thatch, one or two wood, and just one stone. Now, if we press circle, we can go into our inventory, like this guy is here. Look. <laughs> Let's just stand next to him just for funsies. Hey, boo, what's up? What's his name? Juan Claude. What's or Paolo, Paolo Sanchez. How's it going, man? I could invite him to my tribe, but I better not do that right now. So I want to make myself a stone pick. Now, to easily see what you need, you press X and then put it on your hotbar there. And as you can see, I've actually leveled up, which is quite good. And it shows what I need to actually get that. I've actually got no stones so far, but stones you can get off the beach. Here we go. Um, no, that's not a stone like that there we go just grab a stone and i just need to keep hitting a tree this is the only way to get the basic stuff so one wood and tent thatch as i thought just a bit more thatch now and there you go now i can craft it i am going to stay over here near this guy because like i said those dillos are patrolling and uh, I don't want to get involved with one right now. Now, a lot of people will ask, what do you put your levels in early on? Personally, when I'm really low level, I'm talking under level 15, I like to do melee damage, maybe a little bit of health, uh, and sometimes a bit of weight. Is this guy trying to hit me? He better not be, mate. Uh, and sometimes a little bit of weight to help you carry the stuff that you're going to be using to craft. So the reason I like to do melee damage is because... Oh, let's make this spear. And let's make this hatch here, and that'll do for now. Uh, it's because killing things like Dillos and Raptor is going to be a lot easier with a little bit of melee damage. Someone who is equipped with a spear and equipped with a decent bit of melee will get rid of things like Raptors quite easily. And those are the kinds of dinos you're going to be running into very early days here on the beach. Look at him. He's trying to have fun. I would actually interact with him, but obviously I'm trying to make this video. So if I press right on the D-pad, now I can see what I need to make myself the hatch here. I need a bit more... 
uh, thatch. And now I've got this pick, I can use this. And uh, I can get myself enough thatch to make that. And I just need one flint, which you get from these rocks. And I should be able to make the uh, the hatchet there. So let's make that. Now, if you're wondering how do I know what resource to get from which uh, material, then it's just a case of learning. But one tip is, is that the pick that I've got in my hand right now is used to get the secondary resource from something. And the hatchet is used to get the primary resource from something. I think I've, I've managed to get myself stuck in this tree, which is kind of annoying. So when it comes to trees, the primary resource is wood and the secondary is thatch. So here you can see I'm getting a, li a lot more thatch with the pick. Now when it comes to rocks, the primary resource is stone and the secondary is flint. So if I hit this with the pick, I should get more flint than I do stone. So those are the two basic ones, really, that you need to know about. Oh, look at this dude. He wants to work together. You see, if he was in my tribe, we'd actually get joint XP. We'd get a little bit of an XP boost for working together. However, I'm not going to get him in my tribe because I don't know who he is. And he might try and steal my stuff. And now he's trying to hit the air as well, which is quite interesting. So now I want to get myself a spear and I'm going to go and take care of that dillo. So I need eight wood. Now, in an ideal scenario, you want to get yourself at least three spears to be able to survive uh, pretty much most incidents. Most of the things that you're going to run around to here on the south coast. And like I said, this little tutorial, this little walkthrough playthrough is very much for early level people. Um, if you're a bit more experienced like myself, uh, you might want to try spawning in the west or in the north even. If you're a bit smart and you know how to survive difficult dinos, you might want to do that. But even myself, this is a very good place to spawn. So... The main reason I wanted to spawn here in the southeast is not just because of that explorer note there, which is going to give me double XP for 10 minutes, uh, but there is three or four of them in this area, and we're going to utilize all of them to level very quickly at the very early stages. We're probably not even going to try and build a base today. That might be the next episode, some base building, uh, well, basic base building tips, and the next thing we need is fiber. But yeah, we might not even get to the point where we build a, a base today. We're just going to get ourselves some XP and then we're going to make sure we've got most of the good stuff unlocked ready to go. But I'm trying to do this relatively quick. I want to go quick because I want to show you guys that you can level up quite quickly. But at the same time, I don't want to rush through super quick so that the people who are new to the game literally have no idea what's going on and get a little bit sidetracked. And like I said at the beginning of the video, if this style of video isn't for you, doing the whole walkthrough playthrough, uh, then I am going to have like a quick fire 25 tips video, which is going to let you know most of this information. But obviously, there's certain things we might uh, learn along the way here that won't be in that video. Now, another important thing to think about... Oh, I've made three. That's perfect. Another important thing to think about is what dinos can you take on early stages and what dinos can't you take on? Now, when you're at the stage when you've got about 100 health, like I do right now, and you've got no armor... Things like tracks are probably going to be very difficult to, you to kill. You'd have to get in a position. I don't know why that one's chilling on a rock there. You'd have to get into a position where you can, like, make sure it doesn't hit you. Hey, this dude's got to level two. What a beast. I, should, I think I'm only level two as well. I ain't going kind of slow here. Right, so we're going to take on this Dillo instead. So Dillos are fine. They will fight back. They can be dangerous, but it's going to be fine. And Dodos, obviously fine. And Listros. We'll probably run into all of them. Now, is there two or is it just this one? Now, you can tackle this thing by either throwing your spear at it, or you can just uh, melee hit it like this. I'm going to go to throw a spear just to show you it, and then I'm going to melee it afterwards. So this game has a hit marker sound as well, so you can tell when you're hitting it uh, for when you do the projectiles. I managed to get that. I picked up the spear as well by walking over it, so that's a good thing because you can pick that up. So now we're fine. I'm actually going to go to get the meat off of this. I don't need that much hide in the early levels. Now, as you can see, it's getting a little bit cold and it's getting a little bit... Well, I'm getting a bit hungry. So what I'm going to do is put the berries on my hotbar. All the edible berries, which are these ones. Uh, you can eat the red and the the red, uh, the red, white and the black even, but the black one sends you to sleep. The uh, white ones give you a stamina boost, but at the cost of dehydration. So you will dehydrate quickly. And as you can see, my food bar is right at the bottom there on the right-hand side. Now, that will cause these stars to form on the right-hand side there. And as those stars fill up, you will become unconscious if they get a decent way up that bar there. So I'm going to take a drink by just going over here, pressing Y, making sure my water's full. And then I'm going to actually hold down these buttons where the berries are which will allow me to mass eat or very quickly eat all of those berries so we're absolutely fine there so i'm going to be okay for a minute however we will make ourselves um 
a campfire in a minute. So I need to level up just a little bit more. So what I should be doing, really, if I was playing normally, I'd just be spam harvesting all of these trees. But I'm going to kill this dodo as well because I do want the extra bit of meat. Dodos are a really good early tame that you should get because the eggs that they lay will allow you to uh, tame one of the... One of the dinos that is very useful. Your first flyer that you're probably going to get. So, but I'm not going to make a base yet. And until you make a base, there's not really no point in taming a dodo. There's no way that you're going to keep it. Uh, so to level up here, I can just hit these trees. And there we go. We've got our first level. Now, what I want to make next is cloth hats. And I want to get the um, campfire unlocked as well. Now, I'm still going to go melee damage. Because I think that's going to save me against a lot of things. So, we've got 10 points. We can do the cloth hat. We can do the campfire. We can even do that foundation, actually. Which we might be able to use to our advantage to uh, unlock some more XP. Uh, so, what we're going to do is we're going to make that campfire. And then, we're not going to get the double XP yet. Now, you might have been tempted, like I, I said to you, oh, you get double XP for that to just go and get it. But we're not going to get that straight away. And there is a good reason which I'm going to share with you in just a second. But let's make this campfire first. So, L1 and square, you can see all we need is stones. Um, now, you can obviously harvest these rocks for stones. But I do like to pick them up off the beach. There's not too many here on this beach, actually, though. So, we are going to do that. And this is going to provide us a little bit of warmth. Now, when it comes to those status notifications in the bottom left-hand corner, I am cold, but when it's just a little snowflake like, like that, it means I'm just a bit cold. It means I'm not going to lose any health from uh, actually being at this temperature. Now, I should probably get myself some armor as well to help from that with that. Now, that sound that should happen means it's officially night time now. So now it's nearly 10 p.m. in game. It's officially night time, and I am getting a little bit low on food. You can see that I'm starving. Now, you will be okay going a few minutes with uh, completely, uh, being completely out of your hunger bar. So, don't panic too much. You're going to be absolutely fine. My hatchet is broke there. So, I pressed left on the D-pad. And because I had all the things I need in my inventory, I managed to craft it. So, I'm going to put the campfire in that spot on my hot bar. Plop that down. And then we're going to fill this up with some thatch. About 45 should be enough to start that. Now, when you're in the inventory screen like this, you can actually press start to start the fire. You can go to the light fire button or you can press start like that. So that's going to take a minute or so to cook that first piece of meat. Why don't I go and kill this dillo because I've still got all three of these. Now, when you use a spear in terms of melee it... Oh, it just took a poop. Well, that's your last poop, I'm afraid, son. Let's uh, whoo, concentrate. You don't want to get hit by that spit if you can because that will... Uh, let's go get that. There you go. Oh, it didn't give it back. I don't know why. Oh, no, it did. Added one spear. There we go. I was going to say, sometimes it doesn't work. Now, when you hit things with the spear, uh, the spear works very uniquely to other weapons. It actually has a 6% chance of breaking every time you use it. So that's one of the reasons that I make sure to um, make sure to carry at least three. Now, I did just... Oh, I wonder why this guy's freaking me out. He's made a torch. What a legend. Now, I did just eat a piece of meat. Now, eating a piece of meat, as long as you've got more than 20 uh, hunger, or as it's called food here, as long as you've got less than 20 or full, so 80 or under, eating a, a piece of cooked meat will regen you 8 health points. So, if I eat this, I should regen a little bit. And here you can see I've gone up to 100 there. So, that is actually the reason why you might want to keep your food bar there not completely full. Because if it's completely completely full you can't heal yourself with any cooked meat however if it's empty or near empty you can do so i tend to not eat uh, all of the meat at once you can only eat a maximum of five meat anyway because each uh, piece of cooked meat will give you 20 food back i also don't want this guy stealing my meat ideally which you can see he's trying to do already the cheeky he's turning he's turning it off can you leave it alone, buddy? Oh, I hope he doesn't aggro that thing. That's going to be a bit of a problem if he does. Okay, right. So now, let's move on to actually getting some of this XP. I am going a little bit slowly, but you've got to bear in mind for anyone who's brand new, or maybe you're brand new, um, I'm going to want to uh, show them the ropes fully. So the next thing I want to make is a load. Let's put this cook me on my hotbar, actually. Is a load of cloth hats. Now, cloth hats... At the very early stages, give you the best fire bar per XP ratio. They don't give you as much XP as crafting something like um, like a, a cloth pair of pants or a cloth shirt. However, for the amount of fiber you get, it is more effective. You can trust me on that one. I did the math or maths. Uh, so what we're going to do before we actually go and trigger that double XP, we're going to collect so much fiber that we literally... 
don't want to see another piece of fiber in our life which is unfortunate because early stages is non-stop fiber gathering really it's just something you have to go through it is the early grind now you can see there i've actually got the ice symbol up here in the bottom left hand corner so i am actually going to be losing a little bit health here let's have a look you can see my health there it's very slowly draining look at the temperature there it's six degrees it's not too bad it's very slowly draining it does get a lot colder than that in a lot of other spots of the map uh, if I had hide armor on, if I had any armor on, I'd be getting a bit more protection. But that's not where my focus is right now. My buddy over there is probably getting nice and warm off of the campfire that I made. So I'm going to fast forward this a little bit. I'm going to collect as much fiber as I can. And then I'll show you guys the best method of making the most out of that explorer note. Okay, so I've been collecting fiber throughout the night. To be honest, there's no limit to the amount of fiber that you should really grab before doing this because you are going to need a lot. To be constantly crafting these hats for 10 minutes, which is what we're going to do, you need a ridiculous amount of fiber. So we probably are going to have to grab more to be able to completely fill up our time with crafting, uh, but I couldn't really stomach doing any more. I wanted to move on to the next stage. So we're going to be crafting hats. Uh, now what we we'll to be doing is going up to this and getting the XP. You get a little bit of XP when you go up to the note, and then for the next uh, 10 minutes you do get even more double xp so let's make the most of this let's just show you what kind of xp you end up getting now i've got 52 xp before i started doing this i'm actually going to give myself a level in health there um i'm not going to unlock anything right now we'll unlock some more stuff in a minute so 52 xp before we start let's go for it now obviously if you can you can actually read these explorer notes this is a stegosaurus dossier but i just press circle to back out of there and i'm gonna sprint over to where there's more fiber you might be thinking jeff why are you sprinting away and not starting crafting things the reason is when you start crafting things you move a little slower so i want to be over where there is already uh fiber so here you can see i can craft oh my word how many have i got 40 cloth hats now you might think that is a crazy amount uh but trust me we will go through that very quickly so I was just hungry there, so I just ate two cooked meat. Not so, I didn't fill myself up, so I could regen a little bit of health if I need to. And here you can see, as you're crafting, you're very vulnerable. Uh, you can only move slowly like this. You can uh, cancel it by going into your options menu, but I'm not going to do that. Or your inventory even, sorry. I'm not going to do that right now because I want to make the most out of every second of this XP. So you can see there, bottom left-hand corner, 540 odd seconds of XP left. Let's make the most of it. Let's uh, just drain every single point of XP that we can out of this. And you're going to see afterwards, hopefully, that uh, it's going to pay off. Now, I did see something moving there. Right, that is... Um, I can't remember how you pronounce it, but it's basically a massive kind of horse-style dino. Uh, and it actually collects berries and whatever. Now, they are passive. It won't attack you. However, if you get close to it, it will. Like, I'm talking all up in its grill, all up in its face. So we're just going to play it safe. I was going to wander up there because there's loads of fiber up there. But let's play it smart. Now, I am over encumbered here. So we're going to go to our inventory, press the W, and that will show us what we've got that's really heavy. So we're going to drop that, and we're not going to do any more leveling. Allows us to move a little bit quicker. Like here it is again. It seems to be walking around here, which I don't like. And there is a chance that it could kill me. Now, if this thing kills me, although it's not a massive problem at the moment dying, really, because we've got... Um, we, you know, we're just on the, the coast here. It's easy to spawn back here. It'll be easy to get my stuff again. Not that I've really got anything in particular. Um, but we just don't want to die because it will mean that our double XP will go, which would be real unfortunate. Now, as soon as we get down to the low levels of um, the uh, well, hats even, see we've got 17 still queued up. I'm going to go. Now, I would go into here. I do want to go up here because this is where loads of fiber is. I'm a little bit scared though because it is foggy, even though it's just about to be daytime. It is foggy. So um, I don't want creatures like that big dino. I think it's called a Cali is what we call it for short. I can't remember the exact long name, but yeah, some of these dinos do have some crazy long names and um, pretty hard to pronounce. So you can see we're down to 12 more, but with the fiber that I'm collecting as it goes, we are going to be able to craft more and we're doing well. We're about a third into our double XP at the moment. Oh, Oviraptor, nothing to worry about. Those actually flee away from you. 
wondering what their use is. They actually are used to help your eggs lay dino. Uh, di eggs lay dinos? That doesn't happen. Help your dinos lay eggs quicker, which is good in the uh, mid to late game for making things that will lay to tame dinosaurs quicker. Because dinosaurs can take a long time to tame in this game. And in the next episode, we'll probably go over building and a bit of taming. Uh, there are actually some really good secrets and tips for building and taming. And if you want to watch my 25 tips video, like I said at the beginning of the video, all of those tips will be on there. So feel free to watch that and you'll get loads of tips like that. Or you can obviously wait until episode 2 comes out here and we'll go a little bit more into that. So let's see how many more we're making. We were down to one more and see we're making 12 more now. So let's just keep this going. I'm going to skip forward now because I think you guys generally get the idea here of what I'm doing. And we'll see how much XP I've got when I finish. Okay, we're down to the last minute now of the double XP. You can see there under, well, about 50 odd seconds left of double XP. And I've made as many cloth hats as I can in the time. Been collecting cloth, uh, sorry, not cloth, fibre up here to make them. And uh, it's been a bit of a grindy 10 minutes, but it is what it is. This is a good way to get some XP. And in a minute, we get the trade-off of we get the reveal. Now, I swear I saw a big tree go down there. I'm hoping that's a player that knocked that tree down. Because if it's a dino big enough to knock the tree, we could be in a little bit of trouble. Now, these little ruins here, it's quite often around these ruins that you get the explorer notes and the dino dossiers. Um, there isn't one actually at this one, because I, I just know that. I've been here plenty of times, but... Those kinds of areas, you always want to check if you don't know for sure that there is a dino dossier there or an explorer note. And I'll show you where the next one is in just a second. So we've got 10 more seconds here, 7 more seconds, see if we can make those hats in time. Doesn't look like we're going to be able to. Now bear in mind we had 52 XP before we started here, which is enough for level 6 I believe. It must be level uh six oh no not four well, just because we didn't level up before but now as you can see there this has run out and we are on 275 xp uh which is going to get us to level eight now how much xp did we get there what must have been 220 roughly if you double that on a double xp weekend let's make that 440 that would get you all the way up to level 10 just doing that would get you to level 10 uh, and that just took 10 minutes now we're going to grab one of these for us and the rest of the cloth hats we're going to drop a quick way to drop a lot of things uh which might take a long time is go up to this box here type in the name of whatever it is just going to do hat here because we don't have different types of hat oh actually we are going to drop the thatch if we do that so let's do cloth instead you got to be careful there because if i'd have dropped all there i would have dropped that thatch as well which is kind of useful keep pressing start there instead of r2 there we go so now let's just drop these cloth hats you can press drop all items and it will only drop what you had there so let's level a little bit i'm going to go a bit more i'm going to go one weight one health one melee and one or two movement speed as well as what I'm going to do. Now we're at the point where we've got other things that will give us much better XP to uh, get. So the two main ones I'm looking at here are uh, storage box and the wooden foundation. Now these both give you a very similar amount of uh, resource to XP ratio. However, I'm probably going to go for the storage box because they weigh a little bit less. And as you can see here, I haven't been leveling weight. So I've only got 110 weight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and walk up here. I mean, this can get a bit dangerous now. I'm walking inland, but I I really want to get the explorer note that's on top of this cliff i'm also gonna kill this dodo anything that's easy to kill on the way make sure you get it you want that meat you can see uh, i want the hide as well which is going to be useful and it give you a tiny bit of xp not a lot for something like a dodo but it will give you a little bit and just go slowly if you can try and be wary of your surroundings if we bumped into a raptor now it would be a bit of trouble for us we don't have much health big diplo there they won't actually hurt you unless you get up close and even then they won't hurt you They'll just push you around. So I'm just slowly walking over to where I know this next one is. And I'm gathering fire because I want to make myself the cloth armor. I've got enough hide, I think, to make the armor as well. That's a good point. I didn't actually unlock the armor as well. So let me go over to the armor. And let's unlock the rest of the cloth. Let's do the pants, shirt, a water skin. Why not? And that as well. Now I'm going to make this water skin. I'm just going to try and make two sneaky if I can. That's used up all my hide, but it should be worth it because it's raining at the moment. So all we have to do is hover over the water skin, press right trigger, and you can stock up on water just from the natural rain that happens. Uh, so what else do we want? Now we just want the uh, cloth pants and the cloth shirt. We don't have enough um, fiber. So we're going to collect fiber and walk over to this next one. 
Now, I will, got, I will give you guys a map that shows you the uh, spots where all of these double XP notes are uh, that will each give you 10 minutes of double XP. Um, but I'm particularly focusing in this area because there are four of these in a very close area which will allow you to level up relatively quickly. So just going to get a bit more fiber. We'll wander over there and then we'll start doing the box strat and uh, see how well we do with that. See here we've run up to some compies. We've got a Cali up here as well. So although these things aren't like big end game dinos, they can be a little bit dangerous. Just use your spear on these little guys. It should be fine. Backing off as they attack. Now the bigger group they're in, the more damage they do. And I've actually broke both of my spears here. So I'm not going to panic. These things don't do too much damage. But let's just sprint away and get ourselves another spear. What are we going to need? Ah, oh, Dillo as well. What a pain. All right. So this has become a bit of a survival moment. So let's just try and sprint away. Get a little bit of space between us. This is a kind of like early annoying PvP. I say PvP. It's PvE, obviously, uh, that you'll have to deal with. Let's quickly make the first spear. There should be enough to deal with this Dillo. Oh, they're actually it's fighting the compies, which is interesting. So I can make another one relatively easily. Now, I'm trying to back off as they hit me. because There's a little bit of pushback, you see there. Uh, which means they won't be able to hit me as easily. But at the same time, I'm trading off actually being able to find them. Now, when this thing rears up like that, we're going to go sideways to try and avoid getting hit by that spit. And there's one more compy, I think. I swear there was one more compy. So let me just harvest this. I'm sure it will hit me any second and remind me where it is. See, these compies are quite hard to uh, locate. They're kind of annoying. And I do want the meat from them, so... That's why I wanted to try and kill them all in the same area. And I think I've lost the rest of those things. So there you can see what happened. I tried not to panic. I checked what I needed to actually make more things. Oh, this is a mate boosted one. So is there two in the area? And just back away and spear. And those little things should have uh, or should be no trouble even. Now, it went and proved to me that I need multiple spears. You see, I had three, but I had two of them break really, really quickly. So I'm going to take this opportunity to quickly make a couple more spears. And uh, yeah, you really saw how important it is to uh, have at least two or three of those on you, even against those small dinos, uh, which you will encounter in this kind of area, is quite important. So we want four flint before we start gathering wood. I'm getting no flint from this. There we go. There's enough. And then we get some wood. Now, unfortunately, doing this has set us back a little bit because that's used up our fibre that we've gathered. You need fibre to create the spears. So that's uh, used up a bit of that. So now we should have three in total. Now, if I'd have really been desperate, I could have used my Stimberries to help me sprint away from those things. But there was no real need. And we were okay. So let's put on the pants as well. Just want to make the cloth and then we'll carry on with what we originally planned to do. So here is the ruins of our next explorer note. And just to give you an idea of where we are, if I just walk over here, here you can see is the cliff that we were just below. And uh, over there is Herbivore. And it's actually at render distance. But we just walked up here. And this is the second one. Like I said, I will give you guys a map. Uh, now, another good way of getting easy early XP is to kill these Mega Neuris. These actually give a surprisingly good amount of XP. So to put it in perspective, killing 10 of these things is the same XP as killing one T-Rex. So if I actually hit this, then all of the ones that are in the area should actually come after me as well. Sometimes there's a lot in the area. Sometimes not so many. I'm just going to do a little bit of a circle, give the others a time to get here if there is a few. But it doesn't look like there is. Oh, there's two. So what you want to do is crouch, walk backwards, and aim up and spear them. And there you go. They were no worries. Now, unfortunately, we've got a little compy here as well, which is a bit of a pain. But like I did before, just spear and go backwards. There's his mate as well. Ideally, I want to ah kill this one in the same area. And there you can see we've actually used like three, all three of our spears nearly just doing that, which is a real pain because um, they're a bit annoying to make. So use up the, the fiber that I need. Now, you see we're running low on cooked meat there. So before we do all the bits here, we are actually going to make ourselves a campfire. So let me do that. All right. So I managed to let me put the campfire in the little window there, which I think is pretty cool. Now, there's the Explorer note just in front of me, uh, right in the middle of the screen there. It might be hard to see, but there it is. Well, it's a dino dossier, not an Explorer note. So what we're going to do now to make the most of our ability to... Uh, 
get maximum XP, we are going to use a storage box. Now, you could use multiple of these if you've got the time and patience to completely fill this up. But we're going to use this to fill it up with wood. And that is going to give us maximum, maximum time of crafting. So now the plan is I'm going to fill this up with as much wood as I can. Uh, get a bit of fiber as well and then we'll access the, the note so we can be crafting as much as possible while we've got the double XP. Right, we're about to get really unlucky. I just heard a horrendous sound. I heard the sound of a Carno. Now, it's not often you'll get things like Carnos in this kind of area, but if that comes at me right now, I am dead and I'll have to uh, re rethink where I'm going. It was over in that direction. Let me just use this level to uh, increase my health just a touch. Uh, but as you can see here, before this thing kills me, let me show you. Uh, I've been putting wood in here. I've been gathering wood, uh, which is going to help me just utilize this double XP better. Now, there is a little bit of a, uh, a drop there. And I'm hoping the kind of was the other side of the drop. And it won't be running up here. So I'm going to carry on. Uh, I'm, I need fiber next, really. Because that is by far the easiest and quickest thing to gather out of the things I need. Uh, and then we're just going to have a little go for it. Um, I could obviously build a little uh, wooden shack to stop the Kano coming at me. Um, but that would just get eaten by the Kano. So there's really not much point in that. If a Kano comes at you at this kind of stage, uh, I haven't really got what I'd need to kill it. And uh, I'll just basically be in big, big trouble. So we're just going to try and stay safe. Collect as much fiber as we can. If we get lucky will still be able to get our double XP around here. Now, I've just seen this Cali thing walk up from where I heard the Kano. It's making me feel a little bit safer because I think that that thing will have killed the Kano. Generally, these things are very, very powerful. That's a bit dangerous for me. If I get too close to it, it will attack me. At the same time, it will kind of protect me from things like Kano's. Um, so we might be okay. I'm feeling a little bit more confident about our abilities here. So the explore note is just there. I've just gathered an okay amount of fire, but I'm gonna get a little bit more. Let's see how much I've got here. Uh, nearly 200 fire bar, and it's 20 fire per one, 10 fire bar. So we may have to make 20 storage boxes, which is a decent uh, start with 200. Let's just clear the rest here, and then we will get stuck into it. All right, so we are into night time now. I've collected about 400 thatch, a good amount of fiber as well. Obviously, you can continue doing this for as long as you can stomach, really, but I just wanted to get on with it. Now, I'm going to drop this torch here by pressing uh, L2. That just drops it there, gives us a nice little light source, uh, and we are going to hit that double explorer note and then start making the storage boxes up there, or even the dino dossier. I always call them that. Now, what is this? This is the Spino dossier, which is pretty cool because Spinos are super, super cool. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take all from inventory and we're going to start making these storage boxes. So L1 and let's press square. Um, I actually do need to uh, get some more water in me. The berries will give you a little bit of water. They'll stop you dehydrating, but they won't really replenish your water. I'm hoping it rains soon because I'm not down by the coast at the moment. Uh, so we should be able to plop some of this stuff back in here so we can actually pick up more of the wood to make more of these. Grab that. Can I grab the other one? Nearly. After this one, I should be able to. Oh, nearly. Right. Okay. Let's start more triggering off. I didn't see how much XP we had at the beginning here, but... Let's have a look how much XP we're getting per one. So here we're on 538. About to make another one. Takes us into 546. So what is that? 8 XP? I, can't remember. I don't know. I'm confused. Yeah, it looks like about that. And we've got the double XP going on at the moment as well. So this is all, all good. So let's grab that. Now, obviously, one thing you can do is get half of the resources back from everything that you... Uh, make but we're gonna be over encumbered here. I wonder if we can put it here That would be very useful. We can so we can just keep demolishing these and making them uh, and this will allow us to Make even more without collecting any more resources So down to that one. All right, let's trigger a few more off 
Okay, so obviously you just hold triangle, go to the demolish screen to get rid of it, and you get half of the resources back. Puts it towards getting more of those. Alright, we've finished that. Let's make some more. Now, as you can see here, even gathering that much stuff didn't put me that far into it, really. Didn't put me that far into the double XP time. And I accidentally ate some stimberries there, which is kind of annoying because that drained my hydration. So even after demolishing these, um, we still need to gather a lot more of everything, basically. I'm going to keep doing this and see how far it gets us. Okay, so we're into the final one. This is taking us about halfway through um, our double XP time. Let's grab that. If we destroy one more, can we wake one more here? We can indeed. Let's make that. And what are we going to be missing now? So now it's just wood. Now we're only going to make a few more before we need to connect the other things. Uh, so let's go and do that. It's a little bit dark right now, so it's a little bit scary. But we've got to do what we've got to do. So after this, we'll take a look and we'll see what level it got us to. So we're just about coming to the end here. And I'm not 100% sure, but I've, I've got a feeling that the double XP thing might not even be working. Let me just test it here. See exactly how much XP we get for crafting these. So let's have a look. 829... And then to 836. So that's what? 7 XP? 7 XP. And I, I swear you get more than 7. Or let me have a look quickly on the Arc Wiki. This is something you guys can look at. Um, a very good use or, uh, resource. Uh, small storage box. I'm just doing it as I'm recording here. Not very professional, but... Uh, small storage box gives you... 3.7. Ah, so it is. It is working, and we've just run out of time there. Oh, can I make one more? If I destroy this? Yeah, no, I can't. Anyway, let's just leave it like that. We're absolutely fine. So it is working. I'm a bit dehydrated, but I'm going to go over to my boxes here because I've got some berries in there, which is going to stop me from passing out. Oh, damn, I haven't actually noticed how close I am to passing out. <laughs> let's get up here. Oh, my God, I might actually pass out. Where's my little uh, area? <laughs> It won't be too much of a problem for pass out here, really. All right, let's see if I can at least get up here before I pass out. This will be quite funny. Ah, I knew it! I knew it! I was so close. We got to a safe area anyway. So, if this does happen to you, don't panic. You do normally wake up again quite quickly. It's been quite a while since it last rained, so I was running a little bit out of thirst. But yeah, it can be dangerous. So, something to watch out for. That bar only needs to get around a quarter full. Before you will actually pass out. Well, it's nice for something kind of unexpected to happen during the first part of this playthrough. Uh, so let's just have some of these berries. I'm actually going to keep the Mejos and the Narcos. Because they are very useful for taming. And I might tame today. I don't know. Probably more of a next episode. That's what Dr. Dre said. Kind of thing. Uh, so let's just smish some of those. Gorge on the berries. Oh, that's a beautiful thing. I won't pass out for a while. I don't really heal much water, but it'll be enough so that you don't pass out. So let's have a look at our XP. How are we doing here? So uh, we've got around, well, we must have got about 400 XP there. So obviously on a double XP weekend, um, that would have been at least 800 XP. And bear in mind, on double XP weekends, they're often double gather rate as well. So you would have been able to gather even more stuff than I did. So... That would be a lot of stuff. Let me just look at that as well. Arc levels. Say if uh, we got another 800 XP there, that would take us to 1,200 XP, which would get you to level 16. Uh, and that's where you start unlocking some really good stuff. So I'm going to do melee damage, movement speed, weight, and health. I'm kind of going to do them evenly now, probably from now on. Uh, and here, what have we got to? Level 13. So let's see what we've unlocked. Anything that might be particularly useful to us. I think level 15 is the raft and so on, is it? So, uh, yeah, you can see level 15. We would have got here with a double XP very, very easily by now. Rafts, parachutes, hide armor, bow and arrow, all very, very useful things. <laughs> Training dummy, I'm not sure how useful that would be. Um, let's just see if there's anything in particular that I want to unlock right now. Uh, that I could unlock. Let's unlock the club. Actually, I'm not playing PvP right now, so it won't be too much of an issue. I'm actually going to unlock Mortar and Pestle and Narcotic. 
Uh, now you could continue this pattern on. You could go and try and find the next uh, explorer note, which I know is around here somewhere. I think it's basically in... It's further... No, there's one there. There's one here. Okay, I know where there's another one. There's actually one kind of on the beach. So let's head down to the beach because we need to get us some water anyway. I think the next one is actually an explorer note. And I'm going to set up a little bit so that I can... Uh, make uh, the most out of the next one by actually doing narcotics narcotics is a very very good way of getting xp however you need spoiled meat and i don't have any spoiled meat at the moment so we're gonna have to get some and we're gonna do that by killing stuff and then splitting the stacks and i believe killing fish is probably one of the more uh efficient ways of getting spoiled meat now i could just slide down here i don't think i'm gonna lose any xp there there's an explorer note here is there you've always got whoa hold on that's a dillo Ah, I'm going to just run away. Make sure I can see it a little bit. I could have taken it on there. But I wanted to just get my bearings a little bit. I kind of wasn't expecting that. Now, I've only got one spear here. So, that actually probably isn't the best idea. I'm going to make another spear before I carry on. God, you've got to love this frame rate down at the beach. The game runs absolutely beautifully down at the beaches here. Uh, obviously, the frame rate is a bit more difficult with loads of the uh, bushes and stuff. But it is what it is. So, I'm going to get up here lie down rocks are a lot of things worst enemy they just can't figure out how to get around them some of them so let's make a couple of spears what are we missing we've got the fire we the flint and the wood not bad not bad so obviously i'm on top of a rock so i can get that flint and then we're just gonna need a little bit of wood so yeah next up we are going to do some narcotics ah my dear well right, actually did i unlock bowler if i unlocked bowler this is going to make things a lot easier I did. That is beautiful. Right, now we're really going to be hammering. Now we've got Bowler, guys. It's going to allow us to kill these stupid parasaurs. They're not stupid. They're kind of cute and cool. It's going to allow us to kill these a lot easier. Because if you try and hit these things without bowling them, they run away. Which is uh, not good. Because they're actually quite fast. Quite difficult to catch. What is that there? That's another player. Hey, man. Another new survivor. Right, so now we've got three of these. That should be enough. We need to make some bowlers. Now, bowlers need hide, so I can make one. Actually, it's only stone that I'm missing to make more. So I'm going to put that engram on here. So what I'm doing right now is I'm basically preparing to get more double XP. So I'm trying to get spoiled meat. And these parasaurs, and I, pr I think fish are good for spoiled meat. I can't remember because... It's been a little while since I experimented with fish, but I swear the, the fish goes off a little bit quicker. We'll experiment a little bit. You see, even I'm learning with all of my hours. There's always new stuff in Ark. They update it so often uh, that there's always new things to learn. I wouldn't mind one more, but I need hide for that. And I'll get hide from killing the parasaur, so I don't really need to get the hide. So, we can, these parasaurs are good for both hide and meat. All you need to do is throw the bowler at them. And then you can just pike them. No worries. I'll probably break all my pikes on this thing. No, my luck. And pretty much most of them you'll be able to kill in time. Now, the bowler will release after a while. But there you go. Now, I want to get meat from it. So, I'm going to use the pick. The, the actual spear is even better for me. But if we do that, uh, then we risk breaking our spears, which I don't want to do. So now we go into our inventory and we split the uh, meat by pressing the... Is it square button? Yeah, it's square on PlayStation. So now that's all split. Every piece of meat will spoil within 10 minutes. Now, if we'd have stacked it all together, only one piece would have spoiled every 10 minutes. But in 10 minutes time now, all of those are going to spoil. Now, the other parasaur that was around here has taken off. You will find that they often flee. If there's any other parasaurs around... They will flee. But let's just get this dodo. Now, some uh, dinos... A little bit of lag there. Some dinos have a headshot multiplayer and others don't. If you want to learn which ones do and don't, check out the ARC wiki and it will tell you. We don't want to be taking on trikes, especially level 125 trikes. They've got quite a bit of health and they have got a very, very strong attack which will knock you back quite far. So... Actually, I need to be going this way, so I might as well go this way. Let's experiment now with the fish if we can. Hopefully, some of these fishes aren't too deep into the water. Right, okay, this is a nice small one. Ah, oh, we can get this one. Okay, so let's grab this. Now, when you grab one, it lets you automatically drag it back. This is in case you want to 
take it back so you don't drown. So let's grab that back. Now, I haven't... Um, <laughs> right, there we go. I haven't experimented with these in a while. So fish meat, how quickly does that spoil? Uh, it spoils on... Well, actually, it takes longer to spoil a raw fish meat. I didn't realise that. So, yeah, that's not an option. But it's worth experimenting with. Oh, do you know what I'm thinking of that spoils quickly? It's it's prime fish meat. And prime fish meat is um, from the bigger ones, like the saber-toothed salmons. And I, I can't see any of those around here. These are just normal coals. Oh, we've got these little things. These things are the itchies. These are friendly. They're like... Um, they're like dolphins, basically. They're kind of annoying to tame, though. You feed them a piece of meat, and they swim off, and sometimes they never come back. But they are friendly, so you can tame those. But uh, we don't need one of those at the moment. Although they are pretty, pretty cure. So now we're looking for another parasaur, ideally. Uh, there is actually uh, another explorer note around here, which I will show you as and when I get there. Hmm. It's like a little walkway oh look at all these people it's filling up today it's filling up how's it doodling how's it doodling harlock how's it doodling now i haven't found this uh explorer note before either so i'm just using the arc wiki map similar to how you guys would do so we're kind of doing this one together and i think now i've got this far this is too far and that is a carno right there you 100 percent want to be avoiding carnos in the very early stages they are no joke they're not like raptors, where you might be able to kill them. There's a small chance you'll be able to kill them, but it's not a good look, and it's highly unlikely. So according to the map here, there should be like a little valley that is like a walkway around here somewhere. And it is around there. So I'm not actually seeing it, though. I think, I think it might just be up here, you know. It might just be up here. So, oh, th this is where I went before. I didn't actually see one here. Oh, it's a dodo. Maybe there is one here. I actually don't want to trigger it yet if there is. But let's have a little explore. I can't see one there. So there's got to be... There's got to be another one. According to the Ark Wiki, it is here. So we will find it. Let's have a little walk around. So I'm actually going to end this episode here. It's well over an hour into it, and I'd have been playing for a couple of hours by this point. I got descended upon by a bunch of compies and ants that I just didn't see coming, and I took a death, and I found it hard to find my stuff again. So I thought this would be a good idea to cut it here. But two things, just at the end. Number one, if you've made it to the end, make sure you use the word like in your comment. That is today's secret word. So if you use that word in your comment, I know you've watched all the way to the end of the video. Massive shout-outs to you guys for that amazing support also use that comment as an opportunity to say what you would like to see in the future videos would you like to see pve pvp bloody bar all that good stuff so thanks again for watching guys hopefully there's going to be some annotations on screen to some more of my arc videos if you haven't seen them they're worth checking out but that's it for today i'll see you next time